Austin Gomber gets the start for Colorado in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard, soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Ready now is Adam Frazier. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Pittsburgh, the second baseman, Adam Frazier. First pitch on its way. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. First pitch, 310. The wind up and the 0 1. Grounded back up the middle. Story picks it up, and the throw to first is in time, one gone. A chance here to check out the, the starting lineup for the Jake visiting Duke. Pirates. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Matt, I'm going to keep an eye on Brian Reynolds. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories, slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time, laid off for ball one. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. Here comes the one, two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Batting third, the left fielder, number 10, Brian Reynolds. Now to bat, Brian Reynolds. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here's the first pitch. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Breaking ball. ball that time that misses out of the zone. The one two right, offering looked two like two. a slider that time, but it's two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Three and two. From 0 2 to 3 2, this is a pretty good at bat, making this pitcher come back and really have to battle. This is a pretty good at bat right here. We're just underway here in Denver. Hit out towards second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four-hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. Standing in now, Colin Moran. No, he'll down. take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And he fouls this one off. 
two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Late on that one as it's foul off to the left side. To two balls and two strikes now. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Blackman is under it. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Pirates leave one, and now the Rockies will go on offense for the first time. No score. Tyler Anderson, the Nevada-born starter, will get the call in this one. Dan, any thoughts? You hear that phrase, a pitcher's best friend is the ground ball double play? Not in Tyler Anderson's case. His best friend is the straight changeup. He's not going to blow you away with the radar gun. Low 90s fastball, but a really good changeup. If he has the changeup, expect him to be around a long time in this one. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. The swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. Gonzalez is there. One out. Batting second. Time now from Coors Field to take a look at the Rockies starting lineup. What's the key for a home win here tonight, Mark? Well, Matt, going into this, looking at both lineups, they're both hot right now and they can both swing the bats. We probably got a slugfest on our hands. What pitcher is going to make the big pitch a big spot execute something to get his team off the field. Otherwise probably a team with the last at bats going to win this one. C.J. Crone comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and oh. One out nobody on. That misses 2 and 0. And set up behind the dish is Gary Simmons, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, Dero, Gary Simmons, he's, he's one of those umpires. He'll give you one thing or the other. At times, his zone can be a little wide, and then he's a little more strict north and south, but he's a pretty consistent umpire. I just, uh, the key, Dan, is be consistent. You want to give him the inside half, I'm okay with that, but then you can't give him away. If you're going to stay east west, you better pick one side. A 3 0. Is swung on and missed strike one. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Your eyes light up from the offensive side playing in a hitter's park like this. Have to get the ball up to do some damage. I'm not mad at that take. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Hit on the ground toward the left, reined in. Throw on to first, two gone. Batting third, the second baseman, number one. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And up steps Garrett Hampson to bat. First offering. That's a ball. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. A 
Ball and two strikes the count now with the bases empty and two away. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there and it's a pretty good one. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. The pitch. He got him. Lively fastball that time and it puts an end to the inning. One two three go the Rockies. We are still scoreless. New inning set to get underway and coming forward now is the shortstop Kevin Newman. Kevin. Ready to deal here comes the first pitch. A high fastball is in there. Now here it comes. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. He's around first heading for two. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Here's Gregory Polanco as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. From the stretch and a strike to even the count one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Newman stands at second with no outs. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. So a runner on second with one down now. And that'll bring up Anthony Alford. Now here's the first offering as the fastball is swung on and missed good location down at the knees for strike one. Hey either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. And he misses with it one and one. In today's game everybody's trying to work off the mound north south trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there but I can tell you as an offensive player I'd rather give you six inches off east west than to have you call that high fastball. The one one home is taken for strike two. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. No score here as we play inning number two. Look out that one almost got away from him two and two now. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. There's ball four. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. 
From the stretch, here's the pitch. First and second now, one man out. Fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. Chopped in front of home plate. And indeed he'll not even try as he goes to first and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. So two on with two away and that'll bring up Tyler Anderson. First pitch of the A.B. now. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. That swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. Runners at second and third with two gone. Pirates pitcher at the plate with a one and two count. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. The set and the one-two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. And he's down on strikes, so they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Pirates strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Striding in for the Rockies, Charlie Blackman. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Blackman. Here's the first pitch. Blackman has a history in coming through in the clutch moments of course it's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually a trait that a player possesses but with him there's no denying it we've seen him deliver in big moments repeatedly throughout his career it just seems he elevates his game somehow and the pressure is on yeah Matty he has definitely put that debate to rest he has absolute ice water in his veins from the windup the one one pitch. going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. The one two. And he Damn. takes strike three called on the fastball one gone. So one down no one aboard and striding into the plate next will be Rymel Tapia. First pitch on the way. The cutter runs outside, ball one. The 1 0 home. Now here's a swing and a ground ball for Frazier at second. In time to first, and there are two away. Batting six. The third baseman. Josh Bases are empty here with two away. And here's Josh Fuentes to the batter's box. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fly ball right down the line and left. Reynolds has it for out number three. Three up, three down for Colorado. We'll move to the third with no score. So here's Adam Frazier. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The second base. Adam. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Tapia has it and it's a quick out number one. Now batting the catcher. 
Jacob Stalling. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Jacob Stallings. Flyed out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here it comes. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Two balls and two strikes the count to the Pirates catcher. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two. Wow from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2 and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now the payoff pitch home. Big swing but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw in time at first for route number two. The left user, number 10, Brian Reynolds. Next up is Brian Reynolds. He collected a base hit his first time up. And the pitch. This one's flared off to the right side. Hampson ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, and we are tied nothing nothing. Way to go for the Rockies. The catcher, number three. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0 home is looked at for the first strike. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. Swung on and missed that strike two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Popped him up. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Here he comes again. One two. Well I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it trying to get him to swing through it but it just ended up taking off on him. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Boy that's the best pitch in baseball right that there is. with two strikes that He'll elevated fastball. Every Boy, hitter thinks that hey they can do something with that man. but most of the time you get the result that you saw right there a big swing and a miss and another strikeout. 
Here's Ryan McMahon now. As he'll watch a curveball that bends in there under his hands at strike one. He'll enter play here at an even 250, 16 homers, and 43 RBIs. Fastball just inside. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Nope, that's a ball. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Full count, three balls and two strikes. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit against that this guy, not. but at least the they pitcher. have a base runner here. Austin. We'll see if that leads to something. Gumber. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Austin Gumber. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Now sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there and sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Barely able to make contact down 0 and 2 now. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Again, he sends it out of play. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. A pause and the 0 2. One ball, two strikes. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Here's the two and two. So a full count now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. delivery to him he's already walked two in this inning already this guy just can't seem to find the strike zone McMahon on second story on at first with two down nearly got the inside but ruled the ball great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive with two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Oh. 
two balls and a strike to C.J. Crone. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. The 2 1 pitch. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's 3 and 1. 3 and 1 here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Called strike, and that'll run it full. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Two down, runners at first and second. Count still full, three and two. Ready with the payoff pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Newman fields it cleanly. Throw won't get him. I'm sure the boys on the bench appreciate that A.B. right there. Grinded out an eight pitch at bat and was able to be successful and deliver a hit for the team. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson as he'll take a change up here for strike one struck out in his first at bat. Ready with the 0 and 1. This is lined into the gap in left center and he's going to come through here with extra bases. Now a third runner heading for the plate. Safe at the play as it's now a 3 0 ball game. A conservative approach might have been to try to sacrifice the first run of the game home, but not this guy. He takes a big rip and has himself a three run triple. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1 and 0 delivery. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat footed for much longer. Two and zero. Oh, here it is. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. So three runs on only two hits in the inning, no errors, and one man left on base. On now to the top of inning number four. Rockies lead this one three to nothing. Now to the plate, Colin Moran. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now, but this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. The 0 1 pitch. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. Now batting the shortstop, Kevin Moon. At the plate now, Kevin Newman, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. 
Ready with the 0 1. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1 and 1. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. 2 and 1 now. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Hit to third. Fielded cleanly. One there. On to first, and they get them both. The batter, the right fielder, Gregory Polanco. So the bases are empty here with two gone, and the left handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. Here's the first pitch to him. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Two out, nobody on. Three balls and a strike to Gregory Polanco. The three and one pitch. Too high, and that cost him ball four. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Next to hit is Anthony Alford. Man at first after the two out walk. He's set. Here it comes. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. One and one. Polanco, the runner at first with two gone. Outside, two and one. Has a look, now the pitch. And he lays off again, ball three. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count in his favor, three and one. The three one. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four, and that's back to back walks now with two away. Oh man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. Up next for the Buckos, Eric Gonzalez. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. As a look, now the pitch. That's a ball. Now one and The one zero. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. All even now, two and two. Frozen on the fastball never had a chance and the inning is over. 
Pirates strand a couple. They trail it here three to nothing. Welcome back to Coors Field in Denver as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Leading off. For the Rocky. Ready to go in the, the bottom of the fourth. And digging in is the outfielder, Rymel Tapia. First pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Alfred's in pursuit. He's there and records the first out. Now batting, third baseman, Josh Fuentes. Josh Fuentes to the plate now. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Here's the pitch. Big curveball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Reynolds is on the move for it. Into the bleachers and gone. Solo shot here to left. Seven home runs for him on the year now as the Rockies have taken a four to nothing lead. Man, I love that A.B. right there. He rushed him in with the pitch before. You would think maybe he would leak a little bit. Cheat to the inside half of the plate. Not the case. Kept his shoulder square. Stayed on that pitch middle of the way and was able to drive it out of the yard. Into the box, Dom Nunez. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. The 2 0 on the way. High and deep down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He no fell behind 2-0 to start 24. the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Stepping in now, Ryan McMahon. No balls and a strike to count. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Well off the plate with the change of pace, that's ball two. Fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. 
That's a nice job to work that walk right there. Even if it doesn't lead to anything on the scoreboard this inning, it prevents the pitcher from having to lead off of the next one. Just one of those small things that might go unnoticed, but in the end, make a big difference. So here now is the pitcher, Austin Gomber. He dropped a sacrifice bunt in his last plate appearance. Yeah, Matty, a productive A.B. last time, no doubt. But here with two outs, let's see if he can find some green grass in the outfield and drive something in a gap. He's got it. There's Frazier at second for the out, and the inning is over. One score is in the inning coming on this solo home run. We played four. It's now 4 nothing, Colorado. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Derek Shelton during the commercial break about the Pirates offense and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Michael Perez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pinch hitting for Pittsburgh. Number five. First pitch on its way. As he'll take a look at ball one. Getting on base, a big problem as you see the average there. Five homers and 11 RBIs. Now the 1 0. Lifted down the line in left. And foul. Two and one. And that one yanked just foul. The 2 2. Sent on the ground out to second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Time now for the Rockies Road to the Show report as we get a look at two players making some noise in the upper minors. Bring in Adam Frazier as he lifts it in the air to right field. Blackman is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. The batter, the catcher, Jacob. So next to hit is Jacob Stallings. He bounced out last time up. First pitch of the A.B. now. Ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Over the bleachers and onto the concourse. A home run. So a solo shot down the line in left sixth home run on the season for him as they get on the board it's four to one now. What a blast that was so here it is again accompanied by show track great exit velocity and the projected distance comes back at over four hundred and seventy feet. An impressive thing to watch when it happened, and even more impressive to quantify with the numbers. So now it's Brian Reynolds standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. He's one for two in this one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. 
Bucks draw a bit closer on the solo home run. Middle of the afternoon here at Coors Field. It's the Rockies 4 and the Pirates 1. Luis Oviedo, six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Trevor Story, 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Trevor Story. First delivery to him. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Reynolds is under this one. And very quickly one gone. So with now this day over now you get a look at the final pitching line for the Pittsburgh starter. Not what he had in mind before the day started. Hey this was just one of those games that just weren't meant to be when you add it all up had a rough time only lasted four innings just wasn't able to give them the kind of performance they were looking for going into this one. Here's the first pitch to him. C.J. Crone is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike it's 0 and 1 a couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. One and one to the Rockies first baseman wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Ground ball right side and that will find its way into right field for a one out single. Hey guys he doubled up on that breaking ball. The batter obviously timed the first one. Second one he was not going to let go. Good wood on that one able to drive it for a base hit. In now Garrett Hampson. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Oh this is kind of unforgivable for the second baseman. He tries to square himself to the throw in a second to start the double play and I'm not sure what happened next. Maybe his cleats got stuck or maybe he just lost the grip but the net result is E4 with two men on board. Here's Charlie Blackman now. And he puts it on the ground to second. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Rockies strand one as they hold on to a four to one lead. Yulise Chassin takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. At the plate now is Colin Moran. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A.B. and start the line moving again. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And this is on the inside edge perhaps off the inside edge but it's a called strike two and two now. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. 
Digging in next, Kevin Newman. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. First delivery to him. Swing and a liner. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. The throw into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. You can't teach that, Matty. The ability to, for a right-handed hitter to shoot a ball through the 3-4 hole, unmatched. Into the box now, Gregory Polanco. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1 0 home on the ground to the left side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. The center field. Anthony Oliver. At the plate, Anthony Alford, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. From the belt, kicks and deals. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. After falling down 0 2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hit back up the middle. Reined in to second for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Like clockwork, a four to six to three double play to end the threat. More ahead from Denver right after this. Digging in will be Rymel Tapia. Flew out last time up. Rockies, the left fielder, Rymel Tapia. Here's the first pitch. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. The 1 0 home is laid off for ball two. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at two and one. Into the windup and the pitch. Three and one. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. It's all a part of learning how to pitch in the big leagues. Major League hitters will not bail you out by swinging at pitches out of the zone, so he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out at this level. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And here's Josh Fuentes to the batter's box. From the stretch. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1 0. Tapia aboard here at first with nobody out. And that one misses upstairs 2 0. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Here it comes 2 and 0 down the right field line. That's a fair ball. Tapia rounds third and is digging for the plate. He'll score easily and they lead now by four. 
Well, this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there. When you allow the leadoff man on base, it always comes back to haunt you. With no outs, I thought they might hold the runner at third, but they send him anyway, and the run scores. To the plate now, Dom Nunez, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1 0. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Line drive, and that's a base hit in a center field. Long throw to the plate. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. The batter. The center fielder, Ryan McMahon. So now to the plate, Ryan McMahon. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. He'll enter play here at an even 250, 16 homers, and 43 RBIs. Now the 1 0. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Racing back to center fielder. It's off the rocks and gone. Two run shot to straightaway center. Number 17 for him on the season, as this is now a seven run ball game. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Sam Howard gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Jonathan Daza will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. First pitch of the A.B. now. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1-0. Four runs here in this half inning. Now a swing here on the fastball as this is squirted up the first baseline. The 1-1. One, one. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Going to be a tough play. And there's one away. So the Rockies lineup turns over and to the play. Trevor Story. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A ball and no strikes. Well, that's another great hitting count here on 2 0. It's no wonder why they're up seven. Eight runs, just seven hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. 
Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. Out of here into the visitors' bullpen. A solo home run here off the bat of Trevor Story. Number 10 for him on the year as they've widened this lead to eight now. I'm sure you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. Now back, first baseman, CJ. Here's CJ Crone now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Oh. Two and oh. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Now the 2 0 home. Garrett Hampson is on deck. Still only one out in the inning. In there, three and one. Stealing that strike on 3 0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Hit hard, but foul. Now the three and two pitch comes with the fastball but it's outside for ball four. Now that number one. Next to dig in Garrett Hampson. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at bat. He's set and the pitch. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. He's able to take the ball the other way here. High and deep to right center. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. So it's a two run shot to right center. Seven home runs for him on the year now as the blowout continues. Well, sometimes runs come in bunches, and that's definitely the case in this inning. That's three, count them, three home runs in this frame alone, four for the game. Did someone throw a home run derby they didn't tell me about? Sure looks that way. Chris Stratton gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Now back. Into the box, Charlie Blackman, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Two and oh now. 
too old to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Seven runs have crossed the plate in the inning. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. The batter, the left fielder, Rival. Tapia. Now at the plate, here is Rymel Tapia. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First offering on its way. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Two out, nobody on. Three and oh now. Josh Fuentes would be next. Now the three and oh offering. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, three oh count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. The third baseman, number eight. Josh. Now to the plate, here is Josh Fuentes. So far, two for three in this one. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Tapia leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2 is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Another good inning for the Rockies, and Blake Street might be beckoning for one or two of this bunch. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Yency Almonte is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. All set for the start of the inning, and here comes the first baseman, Eric Gonzalez. The first baseman, number two, Eric Gonzalez. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a liner. And close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Now back the pitcher with Splat. Wilmer Defoe steps into the on deck circle now looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. Ready with the first pitch here it comes as he swings and grounds it toward the hole and that is going to sneak on through into right it's a one out single. Now back the second baseman Adam. Stepping in now, Adam Frazier. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. A 1 1 count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Man, I'm interested to see this next pitch. Three balls pounded on the inside half of the plate. He either has no respect for this hitter, or he's setting him up to go down and away. Off 
off speed pitch and there is strike three called and boy that zone just got a bit larger two away. Well no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches but not this time. I think that was actually a good take but on two strikes anything that close can go either way. At the plate now, Jacob Stallings. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Hey, I know they say this is not the place you want to work up in the zone for fear of home runs going out of Coors Field. But I'll tell you what, maybe he's enticing some more swing and miss up there. Maybe going to work a little bit more north and south today. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One left for Pittsburgh. They trail by double digits, 11 to 1. Dwayne Underwood Jr. comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Bottom of the inning now, and next to hit is the catcher, Dom Nunez. The catcher, number three. Here's the first pitch. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hip. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. One and one to count. Now the pitch. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. The one two misses, ball two. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Here now the 2-2. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Sixth home run on the season for him as they just continue to pour it on here. Who says hitting isn't contagious? These guys have been feeding off each other all game and five home runs as the result. I'll tell you, you might see some scuffles in the on-deck circle between guys fighting to get to the plate. Standing in now, Ryan McMahon. Max, he'll take a look at ball one. And he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. One oh count here it is. High in the air down the right field line. Polanco has a read on it and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The pitcher number 62. Yinsu. Digging in, the switch hitter, Yancy Almonte. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. From the stretch, here's the pitch. One out, nobody on. Fastball and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. Ball Two balls and a strike. I got 
The 2 1 home. A bouncer up the middle. The throw gets him, two down. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Two away now in the Colorado seventh. And in to hit next, the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. First pitch on the way, and he fouls this one off. Hey. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. Hit on the ground out to short. Newman's got it. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out, and the inning is over. Off of one leg, in the hole, falling away. That is pure magic. We're back at Coors Field in just a moment. Ready to begin the eighth, and set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. Brian He's set. Here it comes. Now the 1 0. Yeah. One ball, one strike. Right. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batting. Third baseman. Colin Moran. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Colin Moran. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the AB on its way. Hard hit ball to short. Story scoops it up. On to first, and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. Next, it'll be Kevin Newman. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this AB. The pitch. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Lays off again and it's 2 0. Swing and a miss on the heater and it's 2 1. One of my pet peeves in the game 1 0, 2 0, 3 1. You're all over the heater. How are you late on that fastball? Two balls and two strikes now. Lined into right, a base hit. Hey guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. To the plate now, Gregory Polanco. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. A hit in two tries for him so far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swung on and belted to right by Polanco. This one's deep. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. 
so it's a two run dinger for Gregory Polanco number 10 for him on the year but that'll do little more than make a dent in this big deficit. I'm excited to check the home run numbers that come out on show track because that was just one of the most impressive launches we've seen in a good while. And as the numbers come in, that ball was projected to have carried over 460 feet. An amazing show of strength. Up next to the Pirates. So now to the plate, Anthony Alford, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A couple of walks for him thus far. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Now the pitch. The bouncer to the left side. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. But the Pirates do get a couple here on this two-run home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. It's the Rockies 12 and the Pirates 3. So that'll bring up C.J. Crone. He's two for three and looking for more here. C.J. Crone. First pitch of the A.B. now. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. A ball and a strike. One and two now. Count one and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That strikeout was all about setting the hitter up with hard stuff. You can see the first three pitches are coming in fast, and then he slows it down on the fourth pitch, knowing the hitter is sort of conditioned for the hard stuff. Yet another way to upset a hitter's timing. Into the box now, Garrett Hampson, as this is grounded fouled off to the left. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Strike two on the curveball, 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch swung on in the dirt strike three and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. So next it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies Charlie Blackman 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. First pitch on the way. Nope at the ball. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. The 1 1. And 
and it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. So a pitching clinic there as he sets him down in order all via the punch out. More ahead from Denver right after this. Stepping up is Eric Gonzalez starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats you can't mill in your chances as a professional. First pitch coming here it is ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike probably a design take right there they need base runners so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone and a check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two. The next 0 2 pitch to him misses outside. Lays off two and two now. And this is swung on and missed for strike three. And adding insult to injury, that pitch hit him as well, but there's one away. Philip Evans will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. First offering. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Here comes the 0 1. Fly ball right down the line and left. Toppy is in pursuit, but he can't get there. It's over his head. And he'll pull into second with one away. Left fielder really never had a chance at that now one at all. Second it was eight. over his head before Adam. he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Carlos Estevez answers the call from dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. Into the box, Adam Frazier as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Comes set and the 0 1. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1 and 1. As a look, now the pitch. Evans, the runner at second with one away. Three and one. Three and, one. Ah. and 
And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw to the plate. But not in time as he's across with the run. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, d -Row, because this outfielder has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, and when you're sitting in a hitter's meeting, that's stuff they go over. So every base runner is on notice, knowing that this guy's got one of the strongest arms in the league, but they challenged him, and it worked. In now, Jacob Stallings, as he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. The 1 0 to third. The second for one on to first, and he rolls the double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all time winning streak record in their rear view mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now this is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 12 to 4 is the final in this game. The Colorado Rockies led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Austin Gumber earns win number seven on the season. Tyler Anderson was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your mom.